So many a time we have heard that targeting the rich people on Facebook or targeting buyers, those who have money to buy, has a greater advantage than targeting randomly, right? Of course, it does have a good advantage because, I mean, you are targeting people who has the money to buy whatever it is you are selling or whatever service you are providing, okay? Now, this has a lot of good sides, but then there is a major problem with targeting these people. You know, you, you've been told to target interests like, um, let's say, uh, luxury resorts. Luxury resort, you have interest like luxury resort, yeah. You have interest like uh, first class travel. First class travel, as you can see, these are interests. Always pay attention to this right side here. These are interests that you can use to get across to people who have financial capacity to buy higher end products, okay. And there is also luxury goods. luxury goods yeah then there's also yacht yacht or yacht or whatever it is it's called okay yacht club here so these are interests that you can use to target the rich the, the wealthy those who have money to purchase high um products like real estate like properties like some equipment machines electronics and stuff like that but in targeting these people there is a huge problem that you encounter here on facebook hello my name is courage and you are welcome to my channel i'll ask you to please give this video a thumbs up just like this video so that more people get to see my video and if you are new to this channel and you like to see more content around facebook ads instagram ads um e-commerce affiliate marketing online hustle and how to make money online generally um, you may consider subscribing to my channel and also turn on the bell icon so you get to be among the first people to be notified whenever I publish videos. So without wasting time, guys, let's dive in. Now, let's dive into the main focus of this video, which is the problems, the issues you face with targeting rich people on Facebook. I've had a lot of people come to me to complain that, yes, they target these interests and they, they see the good performances, but then the sales are not coming as they expected. And I know that that's the truth. That's the, that is exactly the truth. That's the, exactly the difficulty you will encounter. The reason is because everyone has become aware of these interests. Let me tell you something. Back in those days when Facebook ad was not a very, very big thing, when everyone did not know about Facebook ad, just a few of us who were just making money, running ads and stuff, Targeting these interests were, um, were, was a big deal. Like when you target them, you were sure to make some massive sales, some great sales and grow from there, right? And only a few people knew about these interests to target. Okay, now I'm talking of interests like um, first class travel, frequent international travelers, yeah, luxury resorts, uh, Mercedes Benz for people who has money like um, luxury investments, you know, luxury vehicles, luxury, bra luxury brands and stuff like that. Okay. Now it, because Facebook knows every activity based on how you perform or how you interact or the things you interact with or the blogs you follow or the magazines you subscribe to. So Facebook have graded everybody based on the audience they fall under. Now, back in those days, if you target this luxury interest, this rich people, your advert is going to perform well because there are only a few people targeting them, just a tiny number of people. But today, almost everyone, even those who are selling cheap bags, cheap phone, people are selling everything, just targeting anybody, targeting the luxury brands. So it's not like it's being abused, but then every advert is targeting these people, these people. So you are bombarding this same set of audience with adverts. What happens? There begins to be a decline in the rate at which they interact with this advert when Facebook, um, when Facebook displays this advert on their, on their platform, like on Instagram or on Facebook, when they see this advert, they, there's a decline in their interaction. There's a decline in their engagement with this kind of advert. You know, imagine someone who is selling a real estate property of 250 million naira, $250,000, $8,000, showing their advert to this same client. And then someone else is selling 
a bag of 3,000 Naira or 5,000 Naira or a shoe of 10,000 Naira to the same client. It's, do, you, do you see the discrepancy there? Do you see the gap? So that's a problem. They have been bombarded with all kind of ads. People do not even know who to target with their ads. So they're just putting those interests there. And these people are seeing all kind of ads. That's one. Another thing is, let's assume that five people are realtors for the same real estate company and they are promoting the same property or the same house or the same whatever right they are promoting the same property and then all of them are targeting this same interest because they know that this is people that have one this is the rich what do you think will be the result there's going to be a poor result okay because Facebook now sees that almost everybody from this particular region. Now, I'm using Nigeria as an example. Now, almost all the real, realtors from Nigeria is targeting this same level, this same set of interests. Because these interests are being graded by set by set, right? Almost everyone in this region are targeting this same set of interests. It will drive up the cost per conversion. It will drive up the cost per conversion. So Facebook is going to place that particular area of interest, that particular set of interest, as a high bidding interest. So for you to be able to get good results from those interests, you have to spend more than you used to spend before. Okay? That's one. And now, these same people are being shown the same kind of advert from different people. It becomes boring. It begins to reduce the relevance score. So how do you overcome these things so that you don't be among the people who your advert is just being thrown to the corner? One thing you, sh you should do, I'm going to share three things to you, three tips that would help you get better when you show your advert to rich people. Three things you need to start doing that would help improve your ad result and ad performance. The first one, is that you must work on your ad creative. Rich people respond to ads differently. They respond to only ads that appeal to their tastes. They respond to only ads that appeal to their standard, to their desires. So you don't just pick any kind of picture or just create any kind of video and then post on Facebook and target rich people. It's, it's, it's appalling to them, right? It's, rep it's repulsive. They will, it, they will be repelled. All right? So you must ensure that your copy first is, is top-notch. Okay? Your product also is top-notch. Your product is, is, is expensive, not just 5K, 10K, 100K products, uh, 500K products. Those things are not what they are looking out for. All right? Ensure you have the right product, first of all. Then work on your advert, either picture or video. Work on your video. If you are selling a property of 250 million naira, for instance, I'm using the Nigerian context now. If you are selling a property of 250 million naira, you should not be using your small phone to make videos to sell that property. All right? You have to take them on a tour for, of the property. You have to be creative. Do something different from what other people are doing. Do something that will capture their attention in the first five seconds. Once you are able to capture their attention in the first five to ten seconds, you have sold. You, 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 you are sold. You've sold on them. All right? You have, you, they would pick interest in you and in the particular offer that you have. So you must work around your, 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 around your creative. Your video has to be crisp, clean, and clear. Your copy has to be addressed to the rich, not to randomly, not, not to everybody, not randomly. It has to be addressed to the rich and affluent and wealthy. The call to action or the headline on your Facebook advert also has to point out that this is not for everyone. So you have to separate these things so that when they see your advert, they can see exclusivity. Because, of course, you know that rich people, they always 
through take it or leave it, they always try to stay on their own. They always try to associate with their fellow rich people. So when they see advert that speaks to everyone, they tend to ignore it. But when you when your advert speaks volume of exclusivity, they appreciate such. They can they might not buy, but at least they will be able to you know go through your advert, probably go through your funnel or watch your video a lot. If they don't buy, this can also help you so that when you create a custom audience or a look-alike audience, Facebook is going to then show your advert to other rich people who you did not cover in the first interest targeting. Always pay attention to these little, little details. So work on your creative. Don't use video that every other person is using. Don't use the same concept that every other person is using because all of you are showing this your ad to the same set of audience for you to be able to have the upper hand you have to do something extra you have to go the extra mile to capture their attention and going this extra mile means that your copy your headline and your your video or your picture has to be completely stunning different 100 percent on point if you do if you want to get a different result from every other person you have to do something different that's the first point now the second point is in your offer your offer must not be generic you are selling to the wealthy your offer has to be directed to the wealthy you cannot be selling to the wealthy and then you are offering them something like a generator for those who understand what i mean in nigeria or you're offering them something like a standing fan as an offer come on come on man if you are targeting the rich your offer has to be something that the rich will find appealing it has to be something that they will find interesting Pay attention. Don't play. Don't play, man. Don't play. This is business. You are spending money to run this advert. You need to get your money back. So don't play. Pay attention. Ensure that your offer is crafted around wealth, around affluence, around security, around exclusivity, around their ego, their pride. In that way, they will listen to you. That's the second one. Then the third one is that while you are running adverts, also, also build a brand. Build a brand. Because before they buy from you, they, they always research about you. They don't just see your advert and then buy from you. No, they don't do that. They don't just throw money around. They are also conscious of who they are dealing with. All right, I'm telling this for a fact because I, I have a business where I sell to rich people and most of them, they request and they demand that most of the deliveries that I bring it myself. So they always give me a passcode that will allow me access into their estate, to their residence. They don't want me to give it to any delivery person. They want me to bring it they, because they, are, they need that security, that sense of exclusivity. They are dealing with you directly. So before they buy from you, they do a little research about you or they can just click on your profile to see who you are, especially on Instagram. If they come on your page and they see empty page or a page that is uninteresting and whatever, they will just skip off and move on with their life. So while you are running ads to make sales and grow your business, also build a brand that people would appreciate. Also have a brand presence. Work on having a brand presence. So that when they eventually click on your profile to even, okay, who is this person? Let's check them out. And they will see things that will be interesting. They will also see that, oh, you have a range of other exclusive products. You have a range of other exclusive customers. These things give them some level of confidence to do, some tra to do, to do this transaction with you. So, like I said, the first thing is to work on your creative and your copy. Always sell exclusivity because rich people want exclusivity. They want their pride to be respected and protected. They have ego and, they, and you have to respect and massage that ego. 
all right they want exclusivity they want creativity you don't have to do what other people are doing if you want to get this if you want to get a different result from what other people are getting you have to do something different from whatever that person is doing so that even if all of you are showing them the same are showing your advert to the center of people your own advert will stand out secondly your offer has to be crafted around that exclusivity around wealth around affluence around do you understand your offer has to be classy and just in the class of its own and thirdly why you're running ad also be building a brand the brand will solidify the whole thing so that when they visit you when they research about you they will find something great about you that would make them feel relaxed feel comfortable and then do this transaction with you if you fail to do all of this you just keep struggling to sell to these rich people because they don't they don't throw money around because they are rich doesn't mean they have to throw money around no it doesn't work that way so i hope that with these few points you'll be able to craft a better offer bring up a better advert creative and also take your brand building seriously because you're not going to run adverts on Facebook for the rest of your life. You get to a point where you start selling by recommendations. And you can't get to that point if you don't take building your brand seriously. All right? So, yeah, those are the issues that you face when you are selling to the rich, when you're targeting the rich on Facebook and on Instagram. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you leave a thumbs up. Um, if you have any question, of course drop a question in the comments below also comment if you enjoyed this video let me know if you enjoyed it and if you have not subscribed yet do well to subscribe and share this video to anyone you know who find it helpful thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next video cheers